Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's The Joker's Wild. And now, here's your host, the star of The Joker's Wild, Brandon Scrub. Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of The Joker's Wild here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you aboard again on this one. All right, we crowned a new interim champion on our last episode. He's back once again to defend his championship and see if he can add to his winnings as he continues on the road to make the tournament. So let's meet our players for our first game of the Joker's Wild today, and they are the following. Our challenger for our first game is Mr. Nail Snezra. Hello, And our returning interim champion, who's won game, cash and prizes total, $106,110, it's AJ Richards. Hi, Brandon. Gentlemen, welcome. How are we doing today? Good. And I'm good. Ready to answer some questions for me? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, best of luck to both of you. We're going to get right into the game today. You guys know how this works. First, you're going to answer trivia questions, get some cash. First player to get $5,000 in proper turn wins the game. Goes on to play the bonus route and face the devil for a shot at more cash prizes, possibly a brand new car. All right. With that right. said, we get right into it and take a look at our first six categories on the board for today's game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have geography. Entertainment, grab bag, take a letter, science of nature, and finally we finish with some true or false. All right, as you know in the true or false category, I'll read your true or false statement. You have to tell me if the answer is true or false. If you're right, you get the money for the category. If you're wrong, however, your opponent gets the money. Okay, that said, as always, the challenger starts. So we're going to unlock the reels for our players here. There's Nels and there's AJ. And Nails, when you are ready, sir, give those reels a spin. Good luck to you. Um, jokers. Take a letter, two balls, and a joker. I'll take take a letter for a thousand, please. All right, take a letter for a thousand. That's in the take a letter category. As you know, I will give you the first letter of the answer for the clue. You got to tell me what it is, all right? For, take a letter for a thousand. Your letter, Nails, is J. Letter J. What J is the central column and aeroplane cockpit that controls the elevators and the ailerons? For a thousand dollars, name it. Jumbo? No, I'm sorry, it's not jumbo. AJ, you can pick up a thousand if you know it. Jet propulsions? No, I'm sorry, it's not jet propulsions. It's something you use on an old Atari 2600. It's called a joystick. Joystick. Oh, joystick. Oh, joystick. Oh, I don't know what I thought that. All uh, right, no money there. AJ, it's your spin. <laughs> Joker, geography, and science and nature. Geography for a thousand. Right, going with the geography question for one thousand dollars. Here it is. All right, AJ. What vegetable takes its name from the capital of Belgium? For a thousand dollars, name it. Brussels. Yes, Brussels or Brussels sprouts. That is correct. You got a thousand dollars. Okay, come on, jokers. Oh. That's all I'm asking. All right, go, go ahead. Now let's give it a spin. Geography, true or false, and a pair. I'll say true or false for a thousand. Right, true or false for a thousand. Again, I'll read your true or false statement. Uh, you get it right, you get the money. How if you're wrong, your opponent gets the money, okay? So $1,000 on yes. the line for this true or false statement. Zero degrees Celsius is equal to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. True? <laughs> that is true. You're right, $1,000. Yes. All right, score's tied up. AJ, you're spent. Let's spin. Grab bag. Grab bag. And a natural triple. Well done. Nicely done. Natural triple on the grab bag, which means you automatically get a bonus prize to your to your credit no matter what happens the rest of this game. AJ, could you use a mini vacation? Yeah. Good. Because you're headed to New Orleans. 
New Orleans, Louisiana, okay. you gonna guess round trip coach to beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana for a six night stay of the Big Easy. That bonus prize is worth to you five thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars. Nicely done. Thanks. Hey, Jason, so thrilled. There you go. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, it's a bonus prize, so that's yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the game. Now you get to answer a question from the grab bag here. It's worth $2,000. You take a big lead on this one if you know it. Here comes your grab bag question. AJ, what species of Amazonian, what species of the Amazonian electric variety packs a 650 volt wallet? Again, what species of the Amazonian electric variety packs a 650 volt wallet? For $2,000, name the creature. Eels. Eels is correct. Very good. Okay, I got my work. Here you go. Out. Three thousand to one thousand. Nails your spin. Um, Joker. Her fault. Joker and a Joker. Should have fought for two thousand. I risk it for two thousand dollars. Be aware. Miss this question. Yeah. AJ gets the two thousand. He wins the game with five. So you need to get this one to tie it up. Okay. okay. Here comes your true or false statement. The PlayStation series of video game consoles was developed by Sony. True. That is true. You're right. $2,000. I have a PS4, so I should know. Yep. I have a PS4 as well. It's always interesting to see what comes up on the true or false questions there, because I just go right down the list. All right. Scores all tied up. $3,000 apiece. AJ, your spin. Let's spin. Science of Nature, Joker, and true or false. Um, science and nature for a thousand. Okay, going science and nature for a thousand. Here comes your science and nature question. All right, AJ, what potentially fatal disease is also known as rabbit fever? What potentially fatal disease is also known as rabbit fever? Is it Ebola, influenza, or tularema? Influenza? I'm sorry, it's not influenza. Uh, Nels, you can pick up a thousand dollars if you know it. Could you repeat the other two choices? Yeah, Ebola or Tularema. I want to say the Tularema. Tularema is correct. You got it. All right, you're up to four thousand dollars, and it is your spin. Come on, hey. geography. Take a letter and a joker. I'll take take a letter for a thousand. All right, get this question correct. Or take a letter. It gives you five thousand dollars enough to win the game. Miss it, and AJ has a chance to tie it up here. All right, here comes. Yes. Here comes your question. All right, nails. What color is vermilion a shade of? What color is vermilion a shade of? Red is correct. Red. You got $5,000. All right, you have enough to win the game. But, of course, AJ, yes. the champion, gets one more spin. AJ, you need a natural triple or oh. three. You need natural triple, a three of a kind, or three jokers to have a chance to win. All right, All right let's spin. All right, here we go. Geography, true or false, entertainment, that's not going to do it. Nels is the champion. Congratulations Ooh. to you, Nails. You are the winner, and you now have $5,000 to your credit, and you're going to be going on Face the Devil in just a moment. Uh, AJ, tried your best there. Just did fall your way here with the reels today, but you're not leaving here empty-handed. Along with that trip to New Orleans, you're taking home with you in cash and prizes with us. $111,285 cash and prizes. Well done, sir. Thank you, Brandon. You are quite welcome, and we'll definitely have you back for another episode, all right? All right. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, Nels is going to hit his shot to see if he can face the devil, see if one more bonus prizes, and we'll do that right after this here on The Joker's Wild. And welcome back into The Joker's Wild. Our champion now, Nels, who's won himself $5,000 in cash prizes. It's getting ready to take on the devil in the face of the devil. Come on over now. 
on my way. All right, Nels, here comes your chance to take, take on some awesome cash and prizes in our bonus round here. We've got the prize board already loaded up here. So when you're ready, give it a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. Here we go. Good spin. You got that floor clock, which has not been destroyed by the Miz at this point in time. We got the baby grand piano and a joker giving you a prize package totaling $22,138. And you earned yourself a bonus spin. Uh, let's get some more jokers. Three jokers for fifty thousand would be nice. Some joker, dining room dinnerware, and an oak bar set making your prize package forty one thousand five hundred sixty seven dollars now. And you're on the right to play for a brand new car. Um, three wheels up in there. Which car would you like to play for? One. Number one behind one we have. The Ford Focus ZX4 SC worth $17,025, making your prize package total today $58,592 cash prizes. It can all be yours, but only if you can face the devil. Here we go. Okay, devil, you're going down wherever you are. All right. All right, now so all you got to do now to take home all those cash and prizes is get ten thousand dollars on the reels here before you see Lucy the Devil show up. If you can do that, you win the cash plus the prize package. Also, have some jokers up there. Each joker you spend is worth a thousand dollars in guaranteed bonus money to you. If you spend three jokers on any of your spins, you win the Joker's jackpot, which currently stands at fifty thousand dollars. Do it on one of your first two spins. We're going to double it to one hundred thousand dollars. All right, and of course, if you okay. have a fear of the devil, okay. you can stop and take the money you want any time. All right, you ready? Going for the money. I'm going for the jackpot. Good luck. Let's see if we can give away a hundred thousand dollars. Best of luck to you. Give it a spin. And let's play the bonus round. Oh. Really? Oh. Wow! Turn <laughs> off the bat. Okay, apparently really? Lucy was so upset from our last episode that we gave away over a quarter million dollars. He didn't show up once. He was going to make sure his presence was known today. Well, now, unfortunately, I can't give you anything this bonus round. But the good news is you are still the interim champion. You still have $5,000 to your credit. And you're taking on another opponent. Yeah. And we're going to do that right after this short t commercial timeout. So we'll be back with more of the Joker's Wild right after this. You got some spray to do. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild. Nell Snazrod, our new champ, interim champion, now with $5,000 cash to his record. And now he's getting ready to take on this next opponent. Next up on the Joker's Wild, our number one leader on the leaderboard for this season, Mr. Eric Lima. Hello, everyone. Welcome back, sir. How are we doing today? I'm doing wonderful, Brandon. Fantastic. Are you ready to get back at it, see if you want yourself some more cash and prizes? Well, got to get going here. Let's do this. All right. Best of luck to you. Me and my watch. All right. Well, good luck to you both. Nell's going for his second win here. Try to add add to his streak and add, put himself on the leaderboard. Let's take a look at our yeah, categories. Love that. For this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have to take a letter. True or false. History. Art and literature, pop quiz, and finally we finish with some sports and leisure. <laughs> All right, let's unlock the controls for our folks. Here we have Nels and we have Eric. All right, board set for you guys. And as always, the challenger starts. Eric, that's you. Give it a spin. Let's play. Wins good. Joker, Joker, true or false? Oh. oh. Okay, let's try true or false for two thousand, please. Okay, going for true or false for two thousand dollars. Here comes your true or false statement. All right, Eric, ba the island of Bali is located in the Philippines. True. No, and it's false. It's actually located in Indonesia. Yeah. With that, oh. Nails gets the money. Three. 
Tough break on that one. Oh, he's doing it. Nails jumps out to the early lead, 2,000 or nothing. Your spin. Joker, history, and a triple. Okay, I'm going to go off the board and would take a letter for 1,000. All right, you do that with the power of the Jokers, going off the board for take a letter for $1,000. Here comes your take a letter question. Your letter is P, letter P, like in pepper. Right. Else, what P is black and white swimming bird that never flies? Could you repeat the question? What P is a black and white swimming bird that never flies? Pigeon? No, I'm sorry, it's not a pigeon. Oh. Eric, you can pick up a thousand if you know it. It would be a penguin. Penguin, a penguin is what we're looking that for. That's correct. You get the. Uh, Penguin. Yep. Come on. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah Eric yeah, gets that yeah, one yeah. back. He's up to thousand dollars. It's your spin. All right. One spin. Pop quiz. Joker. And true or false. All right. I failed on true or false. Let's go to pop quiz for a thousand. Right, go on the pop quiz question for one thousand dollars. Here comes your pop quiz. All right, Eric, in the game of chess, what piece has the most freedom to move around the board? I believe that would be the queen. Say that again. I believe that would be the queen. Queen is correct. Very good. $1,000. All right, score's tied up. 2000 apiece. Now's your spin. Um. Okay. Sports and leisure. Take a letter. And art and literature. Oh, this is, uh, let's take Sports and Leisure for 500 please. Right, sports and Leisure for $500. Here comes your Sports and Leisure question. All right. Nails, what four-letter word describes an arena for public roller skating? $500, name it. Could you repeat the question? What four-letter word describes an arena for public roller skating? A park? No, I'm sorry. It's not a park. Oh, sorry. Eric, you could pick a 500 if you know it. A rink? Rink is correct answer. Very good. You get the money. Oh, That's the world of skating rink. Yeah. All right. It's 2500 to 2000 And Eric, it's your spin. Joker. Joker. History. And true or false? Ooh. I'm going to stay away from true or false. Let's try history for a thousand. History for a thousand dollars. Here comes your history question. Eric, what portable ice cream treat did a candy maker from Youngstown, Ohio invent? For a thousand dollars, name it. Cone? No, I'm sorry. It's not a cone. Now you can pick up a thousand if you know it. Could you repeat the question, please? I... Yes. What portable ice cream treat did a candy maker from Youngstown, Ohio, invent? Is it a popsicle? No, it's not. It's not a popsicle. It's actually the Good Humor Bar. The Good Humor Bar. Oh, is the guy who made yeah. Good Humor. Okay. All right. So no money awarded there. Score is 2500 Nails, it's your spin. Art literature, true or false, and history. I'll take true or false for 500, All right, please. here comes your true or false statement. Nels, the Korean War took place from 1950 until 1953. I want to say false. No, I'm sorry. It's actually true. Eric gets the money. Ah. See, Eric, I, happy I gave you 500. All right, 3000 to 2000 Eric, it's your spin. Art and literature, Joker, and pop quiz. Pop quiz for 1000 please. All right, going pop quiz for 1000 <clears throat> Here it comes. All 
All right, Eric, whose three-dimensional cube became a 70s and 80s craze? For $1,000, name him. A Rubik's Cube? That is correct. Very good. $1,000. Okay, I need jokers now than never. All Come right, on, 4, to 2000. Go ahead, now. It's your spin. Joker. Joker. Art and literature. Oh. <laughs> He's freezing on my end. I'll try art and literature for 2000. Go on, take a shot here for art and literature for $2,000, okay? Get this, it takes you up to $4,000 in a tie game. However, be careful. Uh, if you miss miss it, Eric gets it right. He gives him $6,000, enough to win the game on a proper turn, okay? Okay. All right, under art and literature, here comes your question. All right, Nails, what does Peppermint Patty always call Charlie Brown in the Peanuts cartoon strip? For $2,000. Say that again. Chuck. Chuck is correct. You got it. $2,000. <laughs> Nicely done. Tie ball game, $4,000 apiece. It's going to come down to the wire here. Eric, it's your spin. <laughs> History, Joker, and take a letter. Take a letter for 1000 please. All right, go on, we'll take a letter for $1,000. Get this right. It gives you $5,000. and Enough to win the game. However, miss it, and Nails gets it right. Gives him the $5,000 a, sh a chance, to, and he'll win the game. All right? Okay. Right. Category is take a letter. Here it comes for $1,000. Your letter, Eric, is W. Letter W. Okay, what W is a sea mammal that used to provide the so-called bones for women's corsets. Once again, what W is a sea mammal that used to provide the so-called bones for women's corsets? For a thousand dollars and possibly the game, name it. Whale. Say that again. Whale. Whale is correct. You got it. God. All right, five. Man from the Okay. That's nice done. Five thousand dollars for you gives you enough to win the game. However, nails is the champion. You get one final spin. You need to get at least a pair to tie. A triple or three jokers gives you a chance to win the game. All right. You get three single categories. Okay. It's all over, and Eric becomes the new interim champion. That's not going to happen. Good luck. Good luck to you. Ben. I hit it. Oh, no. Here we go. It's all right. Let's fix it here. I think I've seen what happened here. Give me just one moment. Okay. Oh, logged in. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's all right. It happens from time to time. The wheels just lock up like that, so it's fine. Lucy? Yeah, probably the case here. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, just... I'm home. Lucy? Let's see, ready now? You always do it, Lucy. You always do it when you cry to again like that. Lucy, you have to get the All right, go ahead. Try again now. There we go. There we go. Take a look. Pop quiz and sports and leisure. That's no! not going to do it. Eric, you're the new champion. Oh, oh, oh. Second time in two days. Wow. Oh, that was just a bad oh, spin. Oh. oh. But it was a good game now. Lucy, I want to tangle you. Uh, I'm, yeah. so, I'm so sorry, Nils. Because of that, you just oh. did it. Oh, man. That's a tough break there, buddy. But again, we, uh, yeah, like I said, just bad spit on the end there, because otherwise you were playing a near perfect game there. But you're. I, I won't. Lucy. Oh. Uh, the devil, it's the devil's work, I say. Yeah. I did. All right, well. Nails, we'll definitely have you back for another episode. You're leaving with us this yes, month with five thousand dollars in cash, so enjoy that. Yes. It was a good game, Nels. It was back and forth giving your any answers. It was. It was, what was it for Lucy's? Oh um, right. We're gonna take a commercial break. We're gonna give Eric a chance to see if he could go beat up Lucy for messing with this game. We'll do that in the bonus round right after this here on the Joker's Wild. Mm -hmm. 
it was the old Superman Punch Roman Reigns style. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild, folks. We're here, our new champion, Eric, who has won himself $5,000 in that upfront game. And now he's going to give himself a chance to come and see if he can face the devil here in our bonus round. Are you ready, Eric? I come am. Come on over. Here we go. I'm coming over. Let's do this. All right, here comes your chance to earn some more cash or prizes here in the bonus round. So whenever you are ready, sir, give those reels a spin, and let's see what you're going to be playing for. Good luck. Let's go. Joker, Griffin Nashville, and a floor clock, still not destroyed by The Miz, worth $19,473 cash or prizes, and you've earned yourself a bonus spin. Joker, trip to Portugal, and another Joker brings your winnings up to $44,539, and you've earned the right to play for a brand new car. Three cars up on the board. Which one you want to play for? Let's go for number three. Number three, behind number three, we have a Pontiac Sunfire worth $17,985, making your total prize package of this bonus round. $62,524 cash of prizes can all be yours, but only if you can face the devil. Hey, Sunfire, me and my cat. All right, Eric, here comes your chance to earn yourself some cash and prize. You got you go for the Joker's jackpot this time, which is set at $55,000. Do it in one of your first two spins. We're going to double that to $110,000, and you'll have a chance to play for a brand new car, all right? All right, here we go. All right, best <clears> of <throat> luck to you. Let's hopefully you avoid the devil this time. Jokers, money, no devils. Now. Here we go. 500, 1,000, 2,000. Good start. You have $3,500. You are 6500 away from the win. What do you want to do? Stop or go? I'm going to go for it. All right. Let's see what's going on. Going for it. Here we are. Joker's money, no devils. Now. Joker, 250 And a Joker. Oh, had that middle one, but a Joker, we're going to give away some big money. All right, you got $3,750. You got $2,000 of guaranteed money. You are $6,250 away. What do you want to do? Stop or go? I'm going to go for it, man. I'm going to go for it. All right, go ahead. Oh, all right, Joker machine power up. 2000 Joker, and $750. $6,500 now. You are $3,500 away from the winning. What do you want to do? You can go for it. You can go for it. All right, risk is $6,500. Joker is money. $2,000, 750 and $1,000. That's enough to win. Yeah, that's how we do it. All oh, right, well done, sir. $10,250 of cash. That's all yours. We're going to add it to your prize package of over $60,000 plus the $3,000 of Joker bonus money that you earned from the reels. Add that to your upfront game winnings. Gives you a grand total for this one game of $80,774. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Nicely done, sir. All right, that money is yours, and now you're going to have a chance to see if you can hold on to that interim crown because we're run we still got time left, so we're going to do a third and final game of the Joker's Wild. So we're going to take one more commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have a third game of the Joker's Wild, and we will do that right after this here on the Joker's Wild. Do not go anywhere. And we're back here at the Joker's Wild here with our champion, Eric, who now has 80, over $80,000 cash of prizes. And he's ready to take on his final opponent for this episode of the Joker's Wild, so let's meet him now. Our next opponent here on the Joker's Wild, it's Justin Noah. That's what I want for. Yes, the <laughs> Memorial Day rivalry continues here on the Joker's Wild. How are you doing, Justin? Good. All right. Have you had a chance to recover or reflect on everything that's happened on the Joker's Wild the last few episodes? Uh, yes. I hear you. Are you ready to get back at it? I'm back, and I'm here to win more money. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Got a good opponent, and the rivalry continues on with this final game of the Joker's Wild here today. 
Here are your categories we're going to be using for this final game. There are the following. We have geography, entertainment, history, art and literature, science and nature, and finally we finish with sports and leisure. All right, let's unlock the levers for our players here. We have Eric, we have Justin, and we have this game of the Joker's Wild. Get ready to kick off right now. All right, champ, it is, as always, the challenger starts. I almost said the champion. So, Justin, whenever you're ready, sir, give it a spin, and good luck to you. Come on, Joker! Joker, science of nature, and geography. Uh, I think I'll try geography for a thousand. All right, geography for one thousand Here comes your question. All right, Justin, what very famous Italian? Yes, what very famous Italian discovered the island of Cuba in fourteen hundred and ninety-two? Ah, uh, Christopher Columbus. That is correct. Very good. Thousand dollars. All right, thousand dollars is yours. You're on the lead. You got a thousand nothing. Eric, it's your spin. Okay, come on, Jokers. Entertainment, Joker, and sports and leisure. Let's try entertainment for a thousand, please. Entertainment for one thousand dollars. Here comes your entertainment question. All right, Eric, what's the four-letter rock and roll stage name of Paul David Hewson? For $1,000, name him. Beck. Say that again. Beck. No, I'm sorry, it's not Beck. LC, I'm adjusted. if you know it, you can pick up $1,000. Abba? No, it's not Abba. <laughs> what is it? The edge. No, it's not the edge either, but you have the right band. He is the front Bono. man. For, yeah, the front man for you two is Bono. Bono is what Bono. we're looking for there. Bono. Bono. Okay. Bono, Bono, depending on how you what part of the world you're from. All right, scores a thousand nothing, and Justin, your spin. History. Sports of leisure and a joker. Sports of leisure for a grand. Thousand dollars under sports and leisure. Here comes your sports and leisure question. All right, Justin. What martial art was originated in 1882 by Japanese doctor Jiagro Kano? Repeat the question. What martial art was originated in 1882 by Japanese doctor Jiagro Kano? Mm. I have no idea past. I guess. All right, Eric, you can pick up a thousand here if you know it. Could be karate. No, good guess, but not the one we're looking for there. The correct answer there is judo. 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 Judo is uh, what we're looking for. All right, score still a uh -huh. thousand to nothing. Eric, you're spinning. Some joker. Joker, geography, and art and literature. Let's try geography for a thousand, please. All right, geography for 1,000. Here comes your geography question. Eric, what word describes Danish coastal valleys shaped by glaciers and partially filled by the sea? For $1,000, name it. Tundra? No, I'm sorry, it's not tundra. Justin, you can pick up 1,000 if you know it. Big question. What word describes Danish coastal valleys shaped by glaciers and partially filled by the sea. Avalanche? No, it's not that. Correct answer there is fjords. They're called fjords. Fjords, okay. All what right. the heck is that? You know, new it, it's a valley that's created by a melting, uh, melted glacier that was in, that's partially filled with water from where it had melted. And it kind of creates sort of like a valley crater lake, if it, as it were. All right. Okay. Yep. Scores a thousand to nothing. And Justin, you're spent. You got this. Joker, please. History. Joker. And a triple. I'll tell you history for $2,000. Here comes your question. All right. What? 
All right, just, okay. yeah, Justin, what U.S. state has the largest national forest in the U.S.? What, what U.S. state has the largest national forest in the U.S.? For $2,000, name it. Texas? No, I'm sorry, it's not Texas. Eric, you can pick up 2000 here if you know it. Wyoming? I'm sorry, it's not Wyoming either. Another good guess, though. Correct answer there is Alaska. It's Alaska. What? I'll... All right, scores 1,000 to nothing. And Eric, it is your spin. All right, let's get some jokers. Joker, Joker, history. Oh! Oh, boy. Let's try history for 2,000. All right, you're going with history for $2,000. Here comes your history question. All right. Eric, in what U.S. state is the only royal palace located in the United States? Again, in where in the United States, where is the only royal palace that's located in the U.S.? For $2,000, name the state. Could I think it could be uh, New York? No, I'm sorry. It's not New York. Justin, you can pick up 2000 if you know it. Repeat question. In what you... In what... Sorry, where is the only royal palace in the United States located? In what U.S. state? Minnesota? No, it's not located in Minnesota. Although, technically, you could consider Prince like royalty at times, even though his name is yes. Prince. Yes. But the correct answer is actually it's located in the state of Hawaii. It's located in Hawaii. All right, so nobody gets the money there. Score still a thousand to nothing. Eric, your spin. I mean, Justin's turn, right? Oh, sorry, I sorry. I, I looked at the wrong box there. It is Justin's turn. Justin, it's yeah. your spin. That's what I get for trying to dust the show without looking, without looking at the board there. All right, you got art and literature, sports and leisure, and entertainment. Ooh. Uh, fire is no matter what. Entertainment. All right, entertainment for 500 Here comes your $500 entertainment question. All right, Justin, what city is the TV show Sex of the City lo uh, located in? New York City. New York City is correct. You got 500 all right, you're up to fifteen hundred dollars now, Eric. Your spin. All right, here's a history, history, and a Joker. Ah, oh. thousand. We we're always so close to those triples. Say, say that again, now, Eric. History for two thousand. Okay, history for two thousand. So that's what I thought you said. It just broke up a little bit. Here's your question under history. Um, okay, Eric, what U.S. state's state animal is the sperm whale? Again, what U.S. state's state animal is the sperm whale? For $2,000, name it. Yeah, Alaska? Good. Yeah, that's a logical guess, but that's not what we're looking for there. Justin, you can pick up 2000 here if you know it. Florida? Another reasonable guess, but not from what we're looking for there either. California? Nope, not California either. It's actually right next to, it's our, it's your next door neighbor up in Massachusetts there, Eric. It's actually Connecticut. It's Connecticut. Uh, oh, it's wow. their state animal. All right, 1500 hmm. to nothing. Justin, your spin. Uh, I got one. History, sports and leisure, and a pair. What was the leisure for $1,000? All right, going for $1,000 under sports and leisure. Here comes your question. All right, Justin, what sport has its name abbreviated to BMX? For $1,000, name the sport. Bicycle motocross. That is correct. You got $1,000. Yeah, get on the board somehow. All right, 2500 or nothing. Eric needs some money. Here we go. Need a huge spin here. Jokers. Joker. Joker. Art and literature. Oh! Good lord. 
Well, I hate to say this, but I'm going to have to go art and literature for $2,000. All right, $2,000 under art and literature. Let's put you on the board with this one if you can give it. All right, for $2,000, Eric, what musical instrument does Detective Sherlock Holmes play for relaxation? For $2,000, name the instrument. Ukulele? No, I'm sorry, it's not the ukulele. Justin, you pick up 2000 here if you know it. Good question, please. What musical instrument does Sherlock Holmes play for relaxation? Guitar? Another reasonable guess, but no. Sure. Violin? Yes, it is violin. Violin's what we're looking for there. Uh, All right, no money uh, there. 2500 to a th to nothing. Justin, your spin. <laughs> Jokers, come on! Please. History, science and nature, and geography. Good grief. <laughs> Doing this one the hard way. I like it far enough. It's going to be far enough tomorrow. Hey, geography. Ge geography. Alright, going with geography for 500. Here comes your geography question. All right, Justin, for geography, here's your question. What commodity is collected from the lakes of Cyprus when they dry up in the summer? Again, what commodity is collected from the lakes of Cyprus when they dry up in the summertime? For $500, name it. Hmm. Let's pass. Say that again? A little pass, no, no guess. No guess there. Eric, you can pick up $500 get on the board with this one. A wild stab at it. Clams? Um, good guess, but not what we're looking for. It's not clams. It's actually salt. 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 It's a it, salt. it's a saltwater lake there. Ah. Alright, twenty five hundred or nothing. Eric, you gotta get on the board with this one. Yeah, I gotta get <laughs> History, science of nature, and a pair. Oh boy, I gotta have science and nature for a thousand, man. All right, science and nature for a thousand. We are all jokers. A category we haven't got too much into on this one. Here comes for a thousand dollars. All right, a female a female cat is known as a queen. What is a male cat known as? King. No, I'm sorry, it's not a king. Justin, you pick up a thousand if you know it. Prince? No, it's not a prince. It's actually a famous cartoon character. It's known as Tom. It's a Tomcat. Tomcat. Mm -hmm. Alright, still 2500 to nothing. Justin, your spin. Jokers, if you don't come out, you're on the land. Joker, Joker, entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! So close every time! Entertainment, 2000. Alright, this will take you up to $4,500 if you know the answer to this one. Alright, Justin, what's the movie if John Travolta is Danny and Olivia Newton John is Sandy? For $2,000, name the movie. Oh. I, have no, I have no idea. Pass. Passes on that one. All right, no help from the audience, please. Eric, you can pick up 2000 if you know it. Grease. Grease is the word. You are correct. $2,000. Now we see it. Oh, Justin, I know I'm getting you for Christmas it, It's now. such a classic movie. You do need to check it out. All right, yeah. Eric's on the board. He's got 2000 Your spin. All right, let's get some jokers. Joker. Geography. And sports and leisure. Let's try sports and leisure for a thousand, please. All right, sports and leisure for a thousand. Here comes your question. All right, Eric, what popular winter recreation vehicle evolved from logging equipment? For a thousand dollars, name it. A luge? No, I'm sorry, it's not the luge. Just to pick up a thousand if you know it. Repeat the question. 
What popular winter recreation vehicle evolved from logging equipment? Snowmobile? Snowmobile is the correct answer. Very good. You get a thousand. All right, 3,500 to 2,000. Just that a triple could give you a win here. Or give you a chance for a Jokers. win. Jokers! Jokers, please, come out! Art and literature. Art and literature. And a joker. I'll go and enter for 2,000. All right, get it right. It'll give you $5,500, enough to win the game. But as you know, a champion gets one more spin. Oh. All right, art and literature for 2,000. Here comes your question. Okay. Justin, which cartoon character made his debut with his girlfriend Minnie in the 1928 movie Steamboat Willie? For $2,000 and possibly the game, name him. Mickey Mouse! You got it right, $2,000. Alright, here we go. There we go, $5,500. You have enough to win the game mm -hmm. now, but of course the champion now gets one more spin. Eric? It's going to take three jokers for you to win this one. Anything less, All and right. Justin becomes the new interim champion. All right, let's get a Hal Shear moment here. Yeah. Yeah. Geography, science and nature. Yes, Geography, yes. that's not going to do it. <laughs> Justin is the new champion. <laughs> wow, a long fought battle between both of you there. Congratulations to you, Justin. You've won $5,500. You're now the new interim champion, and you're going to be going on to the face the devil round again in just a moment. Well, Eric, you, you tried your best. Just ran up some, get some tough questions there with those categories here. But you're, again, you're not leaving us here empty-handed. We've got for you in cash and prizes eighty thousand seven hundred and seventy-four dollars, and we'll have you have you back for another episode. All right. Thank you very much for having me. At least I beat the devil again. I don't. All right. Best luck to you. All right, Justin. We're going to take one final commercial break, and when we come back, you're going to take your shot to see if you can face the devil and earn yourself some more cash and prizes in a bonus round. We'll do that right after this commercial break. I'll be right back. And we're back here on the Joker's Wild. That last game actually took quite a bit of time, so we just have enough time to get this last round bonus round in. So we've already loaded up the prize board for you, Justin, and here's your shot to see what you're playing for. Are you ready? Ready. All right, good luck to you. Let me unlock the big reels for you. And when you're ready, sir, good luck to you. Let's see what you play it for. All right, here we go. Oh! Nice. A 14-foot, 6-inch day sailor along with two jokers gives you 25785 and you get a bonus spin. All right, here we go. Nice, a computer desk along with laptop and two jokers breaks it $49,466. You run a chance to play for a new car. Three cars up there, which one you want to play for? Two. Now, number two. A Chevy Cobalt worth 16110 making your prize package. 65576 can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. All right, last chance this game to uh, lock up the big winnings here. 55000 of the Joker's jackpot. Doing your first two spins worth $110,000. Best of luck to you, sir. Give those reels and spittles. Good luck. Come on, Joker. Come on down. Don't be shiny. $2,000, $1,750. It's $3,750. You are $6,250 away. Stop or go. All right, go on for it. All right, Justin, you got this. Jokers, come out, please. I'm not that scary. I'm serious. Joker. Joker. Oh, almost get away the double bonus. 4,500 now. You're 5,500 away. Stop and go. All right, risking it. Got 2,000 guaranteed bonus money. Two fifty, two thousand, and a joker. Sixty-seven fifty now. Three thousand guaranteed bonus money. Stop or go. Risking sixty-seven fifty. 
750, Joker, and 2000, $9,500. This should be your last spin. Be $500, stop or go. All right. Either way, come on. Come on, big spin here. 250, 750, and $1,000. We got a winner. Congratulations to you, $11,500 cash prizes is all yours, add in your prize package, plus the $4,000 in bonus money, add it to your upfront game winnings, Justin, you have a one game cash prizes totaling $86,576, congratulations sir. Yay! And we will definitely have you back on our next episode of Defend Your Interim Championship. All right, and we are out of time, folks. We thank you so much for watching this episode of The Joker's Wow. Hey, if you liked what you see, make sure you click that like button down below, and don't forget to hit subscribe. That way you never miss a video I drop here at MVG Productions, okay? And until the Jokers come to play and the real spin your way once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thanks for watching this episode of The Joker's Wild. We will see you all next time. Bye for now, folks. This is Michael Gentry speaking for The Joker's Wild, an MVG production in association with the YouTube Games and Entertainment Team.